Hi Aries, this is Tanya Lee of Harmonia Tarot and welcome to your love reading for June. Thank you guys for being so patient. I know I took some time off and this is a little bit late, but um, it was much needed and I wanted to make sure my energy was on par so I can get messages out to you Aries. If you guys are new to this channel and you feel guided, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell twice so that you can be notified of all future updates. This is a love reading, but it's also general. All right, so keep that in mind. Um, not everything is going to resonate with every single soul that's out there. So take what resonates, leave the rest, always utilize your own intuition. This spread is about how your person feels and how you feel and your combined energy. It's three spreads into one. If you guys are looking for more general readings, I also do a general reading for Aries that I already posted. So feel free to check that out too and I'll put that on the uh, end of this too in case you uh, want to check that out. All right, Aries, let's get started here, okay? I'm going to start off with some oracle cards. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters as to what Aries needs to hear. What does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to know in love? How is their person feeling? How are they feeling? What is the energy? What is the energy here for Aries? Your significant other in love. Oof. We have Healer of the Ages, 51 here. On This is on your side. Now keep in mind, guys. Time and energy is fluid, okay? So some of this, even though it uh, is portrayed in June, could be happening now. Others of you might happen a little down the road, but if something resonates more on the other person's side, just flip it, okay? Don't force it, flip it. It's interesting. We have healer of the ages on your side, right? 51, there's a balance on your side, but on the opposite side, we have 52 reverse goddess of the moon interesting somebody doesn't have clarity it feels like you're <clears throat> Aries I feel for a lot of you Aries you may be in this notion of feeling balanced or getting your balance on there is something where it feels like you are learning a lot about yourself okay this relationship is definitely feels like there is a some kind of lesson here but somebody is definitely feeling like they're unclear unsure but we'll see what the combined energy is here with the angel answer card but usually goddess of the moon is intuition trust look how she's trusting that moon look at that beautiful card could be you might <clears throat> I know that there's, you know, the god, they're saying goddess. This does feel like a female, and it does feel like a female energy here. But this is also how they feel, so it could be, you know, vice versa. I try not to, like, get too hung up on the, on here. But this feels, this feels feminine. This feels like feminine energy here. Somebody is unsure of something here. Hmm. Uncertainty. I'm hearing, Aries, I'm hearing not satisfied somebody is definitely feeling insecure in this relationship yeah not the right time not the right time there feels like there is a tremendous amount of healing going on okay you could be working on yourself okay there could have if this feels like an energy aries where um, you guys are not together, or if it's not together, you're not seeing eye to eye, okay? Um, there is definitely feeling that somebody was vocal, or um, I'm hearing um, uncertain of how they are feeling, okay? Unsure of this relationship. There's history here, though, and we'll see what the tarot cards have to say, but it feels like we have somebody who here who is uncertain, a little bit insecure. Maybe they see you changing, being enlightened, Maybe you're trying to have a positive spin on things and this per person is not used to that. It's not used to you being balanced. Now the healer of ages, you know, you could be a mentor yourself or you can just be that kind of person that people come to you for advice. But it feels like you, I feel like you have a balance here, Aries. I feel like you have it all. I mean, I'm hearing the powers within you, you know, like you see how the flames are coming out. Like there's some kind of action that is taking place here. This feels like self-love on one side. 
another person that feels very insecure, uncertain, unsure, but let's see what the tarot cards have to say. Let's see what the tarot cards have to say. <clears throat> Here we go. On your side, we have Eight of Cups reverse. Interesting. The Page of Swords reversed, and oh my goodness, the Moon. The Moon reversed. Interesting that you have uh, all reversals on your side. On your partner's side or your significant other, they have the Fool reversed, the Six of Wands, interesting, the Seven of Pentacles reversed. On the combined energy, we have the High Priestess reversed, the King of Cups, the Three of Swords. All right, give me a second here, Aries. Aries, it feels like somebody has tried to either block or wanted to get away from a relationship. If this does feel like it was the other person on their side, okay? Maybe they were stuck. Maybe they, um, they, I feel like they feel like they made, like they're not sure, okay? Now, there is something here that is not healed, okay? It feels like the level of, um, still trying, I don't want to say working together, but at least both acknowledging the separation here because we start off with Eight of Cups, Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So much moon energy here, it's crazy. So you definitely might be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But here's, here's the thing. This is about walking away, okay? Something that was emotional here, all right? Passion at one point, because with the red, I feel like someone's facing the moon. This does feel like female energy. Somebody is facing the moon. It feels like somebody had walked away and it's kind of on the edge. And it's like you're you're sitting here knowing that it's like I really like it's like you're trying to get your balance on here, waiting when the return is going to happen. Okay. Now the page of swords is usually, you know, it's young energy here, air energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. But usually this is about seeing the truth, observing the truth, getting something, you know, it's young energy, okay? This is reversed. There was something that you weren't seeing with this individual that you are now enlightened with, okay? It's almost like you're accepting, because the moon energy, like I said, is that uncertainty, it's the unknown, it's not knowing what's happening. Again, look at how there's a female in this card. It just feels like there's this is feminine energy. I feel like somebody broke up here. I feel like somebody had expressed that they're unhappy or unsure of the relationship. I feel that this was very emotional. I feel like this was something where it was, was a, a, it feels like a long-term connection with this individual. This could be karmic as well, soulmate. This person is uncertain and there is something about it that has pushed you to balance yourself out. I don't see you waiting for this individual. I see you being, it's weird. I feel like you're being empathic. You might actually be listening to them. Um, you might actually support them in some aspect of what they're going through, realizing there's not a new start. Realizes that this person is um, not clear. But see, there's clarity here for you because even though this is reversing, this person's not utilizing, this is how you feel about this person. They're not utilizing their intuition. They're not taking the time to heal. You're kind of watching from the sidelines. That's what it feels like, Aries. It feels like you're watching this individual and it's like, listen, I can't be worried about you. I got to keep this going on. I got to keep going through my healing. You might actually be go, you know, getting advice from somebody, a healer, it could be a mentor, a therapist, anything more, but it feels like you're working on yourself. I feel like there's a lot of self-love on your side and observing, but not to the level of obsessing. It doesn't feel like obsession on your side. Now on your partner side here, we have the fool energy. This is usually about taking a leap of faith. This person, how they feel, this is what's wild. There, this has been going on for quite some time because they're showing me here, you know, looking at like, when am I going to make, make this leap? What am I going? This person feels like they might have broken up too soon or they feel like they're uncertain that they may. I'm hearing that they feel they might have made a mistake. Okay. This person feels like that they were waiting for something. Maybe they have put a lot of expectations on you. This person could have put a lot of expectations on you of, on what they wanted, realizing that, you know, it's self-love, it's self-work that they have to do. 
But what's weird about it is it actually forced you to go into self-love mode, Aries. So six of wands is all about victory, going towards something, right? Being happy. It's like, all right, I got through these obstacles. How they feel is that you're being victorious, okay? The seven of pentacles is all about waiting, putting investment. You, this could have been a very long-term relationship, okay? This is about waiting, waiting, waiting what's going to happen. How they see you is that you're not waiting anymore. You're pushing through. They, you know, this is, you know, they're showing me the wand here, and this is the six of wands, and this is your fire energy. So this is how they're seeing you. They're seeing you being victorious. They're seeing you stand up. They're seeing you take ownership. I don't know if this person didn't think that you could get through this or do this, or maybe it's not meeting their expectations, but just taking yourself that has really shown them something else. It's showing them something else. But with the combined energy right now, not the right time, I think you feel this already. I feel like many of you know that this person isn't ready, isn't ready to make you know an offer in any aspect here. With the High Priestess reversed, this is a very intuitive card, okay? This is about somebody using their intuition to the fullest extent, okay? Trusting it, trusting in the unknown. This is reverse. There is a lack of trust here. And this, because this is the, the general um, energy of you both combined, there's still a lack of trust in each other, okay? The King of Cups could be dealing, like I said, with that water sign. Is someone who's emotional, who's compassionate, loving. This feels like there's a lot of emotion and there's a lot of love here, but there is also a tremendous amount of heartbreak, okay? There's the three of swords sometimes can say third parties involved. It we'll see what the after tarot cards have to state, but it does feel like there's an energy of something that got in the way of this relationship. Could have been a person, could be a third party meaning like um, you know, um Anything. It could have been like this person worked too much. This person, you know, they didn't make you a priority, okay? Others of you, some of you, this person might have dipped their, you know, dipped their toes into something else or experienced something new that was like, no, this isn't working for me, okay? But I feel like there's this really tremendous amount of heartache here, evaluating it. You're both going through this heartache. There's heartache, there's heartbreak right now. You're healing from heartbreak. But your energy feels good. This other, the, your person, they're going through the ringer because they're, they're concentrating too much on you and what you're doing and they're not doing their own. <laughs> they're not doing their own work. They have to, they know they have to, but they're not, they're focusing on you. It, it might propel them, but let's see, let's see what the after tarot cards have to say. I don't do reversals on the after tarot. Um, because I don't feel guided to. All right, we have the sun on your side, the empress, and the king of wands. Yes, on your person's side, we have the two of pentacles, the eight of swords, and we have the nine of pentacles. This person definitely sees themselves as separate from you, but they have a lot of anxiety. All right, on the um, overall energy, we have the page of cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. Okay. How you feel? Listen, you're getting your happy on, but you still want, I feel for many of you, okay, this does, definitely feels like a long-term uh, relationship that maybe it's been rocky or not communication, but there is a separation of some sort going on here. This is the Yes card, okay? I do feel like, yes, you want to be with this individual. Yes, you want to work things out, okay? You see this person, and it does feel like, like I said, female energy here, and we got the Empress here. So the way I'm seeing it is this person, like, you really value um, value this person. They could be the mother of your children. Um, you know, this is the mother figure, but this is about also having a new start. I'm hearing many of you want a new start with this individual. Um I feel like you're ready to take action, that you're passionate, that with the, you know, because this is like in and out energy. But 
you are in that in and out energy because it's like one moment you might be passionate about this other person and then you get really hurt by what they had to say and it's like you take a step back to think okay what's my feelings now okay that's what i'm hearing this these are my feelings now so it's going through that so you might be in and out with this person in this level it's like feeling wanting to take action really wanting to take it but know that you have healing to do you are very awake i feel on your side areas you are very awake now on your person side two of pentacles here they're very confused okay they they're overburdened in a level of like which way do i go which direction do i go how am i going to get to where i need to be how do i get my happy on they might actually be working a lot as well trying to escape i'm hearing a lot of times this person's doing a lot of escapism notice here with the ship they're looking they're thinking that they can get their happy on without you but they're uncertain if that's the truth you know if that's what they really want here the nine i'm <clears throat> sorry the eight of swords and i just dropped the card so hold on a second <laughs> i just want to pick it up so i don't have to go in there the eight of swords with the nine of pentacles right below this now look at the eight of swords here eight of swords is usually feeling trapped okay feeling like um you can't see any way out it's being stuck in inner turmoil notice on this card there is a person releasing them this person sees you as the rock this person sees you as being caring and passionate they might have never thought you could be this individual they definitely have a very high independent streak on them here okay um it feels like this feels like because this is how they feel i feel like this person has this, this tendency to be on their own a lot okay and it's like all right well maybe if i'll be okay or better off on my own but do you notice how she's facing the pentacles here this person is trying to get their stability back and not stability just in work this feels like stability, meaning like just to be stable. This person is very unstable here, okay? They have a lot of anxiety. You know, this could affect the home life. This could be being a lot of pressure here, or this person could be really thinking about how financially this is going to affect them because usually this is about having it all, getting closer to the 10 of coins here, the happy life, the security, the home. This, this person I feel like is evaluating, look how she's looking at those groups, evaluating everything that you've built together now the overall energy with this page of cups energy this is usually an apology of some sort but it's small okay this is something where it's young this person might be younger than you but notice how the fish is jumping back into the sea okay there's fear here that somebody is moving on there's fear here that somebody's not good enough. Now, this is your overall energy together, okay? So it could be vice versa. You take on who, who you feel the most towards, okay? But definitely somebody feels like they're not good enough and they are losing somebody to the sea, okay? Now, this could also be because you guys could be marrying each other in that aspect too. This person might have seen you grow and be victorious on your own healing yourself and they're free basically f f fearful that they they're losing you okay overall though we have the ace of cups here a lot of love grand gesture this also means self-love this means that it's not a right time right now but there is a balance that is coming here the problem is is somebody's extremely wounded here okay and there's somebody here who's taking stock of their life and they're eval i do feel like it's this person who's evaluating you it feels like they are evaluating you on this side when i look at this it's like yep i got my i got my ace of wands i'm ready to have a new beginning i'm ready to have a new start yes 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 i just hear a lot of yes on this side of the healer of ages they you're feeling balanced you're feeling like you're not wounded it's like no i'm here i still want to be by your side i'm hearing this person is wounded this person is insecure there's definitely heartbreak here i definitely feel like the energy right now is that it is not the right time to make moves that this is the time for self this is the time for healing and self-love that's what i'm hearing aries for you all right guys if this resonated for you go ahead and hit like don't forget to subscribe and always if you feel like commenting let me know i read all my comments guys so i'm always curious to what you have to say and I will see you next time. Take care, Aries.